The new Google Sheets does not have access under the Tools menu to insert a script. So if you want to add a script like Form Emailer to one of your forms so that you can be automatically emailed form results, you will now need to do that directly from the Form Emailer website. So to get set up, you're going to need to have basically several things open. So you will need to have already created a form. So I have the sample form right here, and this is for a teacher's website. And you will also have to have the form spreadsheet. So if you don't know how to access that, simply choose view responses. That will open the actual spreadsheet where the responses will go. This is where you will insert your script. I also have a website open. This is where I'm going to embed the form that's going to email me. And then the other thing I need to have open is the script. So if you open another tab and you search for form emailer, the top result here in this sites.google.com form emailer is the one that you're looking for. And what you want to do is go down to the bottom and use the updates page so that you're getting the most recent version of form emailer. The most recent version will be at the top. Just use the attachments and download it to your computer. Just note where you're saving it. I'm going to put this file on my desktop. And then you need to open this file. So I see form emailer on my desktop and I'm going to right click on it and choose what program I want to open it with. So open it with Notepad or Dreamweaver. Don't open it with Microsoft Word. You just want something that will not add in any extra formatting. So I will choose Notepad because that is on all PCs. And select that and confirm that I want to open the file. Now all I need to do is select all the text. I did Control A and then I'm going to copy this. Now I need to switch back into my spreadsheet view and install this script. So I have the form right here. Here's my spreadsheet of responses. And I'm going to go to the tools menu and I'm going to go right to the script editor. Sometimes you might get a pop-up message here that's inviting you to do a variety of things. If you just close it or click cancel and say stop showing this message, you'll just get directly to this form editor screen, which is what you want. You need to make sure you delete everything that's currently there and then right click or more often I have to do control V to paste and this does take a little bit of time. So it's going to look like nothing is happening, but this is a very long script. And so I'm just going to wait for a few minutes and I will eventually see it fill the script editor. There it is. So now what I need to do is manually install this. So before I can do that, I need to save it. I'll do a file save as, and I'm always going to call mine form emailer. Choose OK. Once it is saved, you will be able to install it. So you'll do a run on install and grant permission for the app to work for you on Google. Now we're not quite done here on the script editor, but if I just go back over to my response spreadsheet, you'll see that form emailer has been installed. But while I'm still at the script editor, I'm going to go into my resources and set up my triggers. So I need to go into my current project triggers. Basically what I want to do is set up a trigger so that whenever somebody fills out my form, I automatically get an email. So I'll click here to add a trigger. I want it to be time driven. I want the event though to be from the spreadsheet and I want it to be on form submit. So add that one trigger and choose save. And now you are done with the script editor. You can go back over to your spreadsheet and configure your settings for form emailer. So now, once again, I'll run an install. So this is going to install this on the sheet. Again, grant permissions. And now I have another tab, another sheet with my responses called form emailer. But I'm going to go back to response one. And then this is where all of my form submissions will come in. A new column has been added form emailer status, so I'll be able to verify if an email has been sent. So now I'll go back into my form emailer tab now that it's installed and choose the settings. So here's where the email is going to go. So the sender name can be form emailer or I can adjust this. And I can choose which email I would like this to be sent to. You can adjust the subject line and then you can decide which values you want submitted to you. So if timestamp is not important, you can remove that. Right now I'm going to get name, email, subject, and the message. When you're happy with that, you can choose save and close. And if you want to, you can go into the settings again, go into the advanced tab, and you can actually add additional email quantity. So if you want an email to go to you and an email to go to someone else, simply add in a second email and you can go back into your settings and go to email two and you can change 
both what is submitted and who this email is going to be sent to. So I'm going to get two emails, both to my account. That looks good. Just two different email accounts. And if that's all you want to do, your script is done. It's ready to go. I want to embed this form on a website so that people can fill out the form. And then I'm automatically given an, and then and then I'm automatically sent an email with the contents of their submission. So to embed a Google form, that's one of the reasons I had this icon open. So I have this is my form, this is the results of the form, but here's the form editor. And to embed a form, you use the blue send form button and you choose the embed option. So you can adjust your dimensions to be whatever you like. And then you'll want to copy the code. I'm going to use control C and I'm done. I'll hop over to my website where I want this form to be. I'll edit the page that I would like it to be on. Get it in the get my cursor in the general field box where I want this to be and go into the HTML view. I will paste in that embed code and choose update. And I can choose save. See what it looks like. So mine's way too wide, so I can edit my page. Use choose that gadget again, and I will make it a lot narrower. So now if someone fills out my form and chooses submit, their results are both instantly sent to my form. And you can see that form emailer has already sent my emails. And there it is popping up right in my Outlook. Hopefully form emailer will be quickly added to the add-ons gallery. That will make it a whole lot easier both to install it and set it up. But for right now, that's the workaround to add form emailer to your Google form responses.